already mentioned that in the question, and so my my plan, my my plan, my personal plan for deep learning. Deep learning works based on images. Lots of these neural networks were developed for image classification, and so a good representation of trials. Uh, is more than the ERP is called the event-related spectral perturbation. So it's the ERP in the spectral domain. So you have the ERP at every single frequencies. And here we have nine, we have 12 trials, for example. So you would do you would do ERSP every single trial, and then in the output here you would you would have some uh, characteristics of the stimulus which is presented, like emotional or cognition related. And then you let the neural network uh, learn some relevant uh, feature about the data. And then you can look, for instance, at in the individual output neurons here that would encode an uh, in, in interesting feature and be able to classify uh, your data as well. And then in the deep uh, neural network framework, it's actually argued that you don't even need that stage. You just put in the raw data and then. Um, the network will learn automatically to extract the features which are the most interesting. Even, you know, maybe do a spectral decomposition. That's a special interest to me because I started in the, in, in the neural network. When my PhD, I did my PhD on neural networks. And uh, I was doing a biological network for uh, image classification. So this is, this is the kind of network I was doing. Very few layers. It was only here like uh, uh, four layers. And so I would just wanted to put a slide on what has changed uh, like 20 years ago I was doing this and now. And, and the first thing that has changed, this is a paper from Microsoft, is the, what's called the unreasonable effect of big data. It's like in these networks we're putting hundreds of images and um, other pre people were putting 1,000, 10,000 at the most. And this is actual results. Uh, it's, this is more like a word or a semantic classification. And these are, for instance, this is uh, 1 million word, 10 million, 100 million, 1,000, 1, 1 billion word. And so here you can see this curve keep on increasing. Performance keeps on increasing. So when you stop at 10,000 images, you you just you just like here. So so people realize, yeah, we just we just need a lot of data. The other things which have changed is deeper is better. It's like in in the old days we thought we well, we just put one layer or a couple, you know. It's like what's the point? And uh, here um, people realize well the. And there is actually a curve through time in 2000 to 2015 that shows, okay, people put 10 layers work better. Okay, 20 work better, 100. And right now, the standard is more like 200, 200 layers of, of uh, neurons. So deeper is better. Then we were using biological rules for the transfer function. We found linear is simpler. And, and another thing is the normalization of the weights each layer, they found some smart way to normalize the weights and also some cool tricks to summarize the, the activity. But basically the story is nothing's changed, just rescale, <laughs> which, is, which is good news, at least for me, because I, I know what we did. So we can just scale it up and fit it into that framework and use that for uh, deep neural networks. So we might see in the next couple of years uh, some of these tools in EEG lab. 